Welcome back to Don't Feed the Cow Plants, the game show of cow plants, questions, and occasionally the Grim Reaper. Now, today's contestant is incredibly eager to be on this game, which I question considering you might lose your life. But anyway, let's welcome him on. <laughs> Get ready to say, Oh my dears, because it is Oh my dears. Hello, welcome to the show. Hello. Obviously very excited. Fun fact, this Mr. Deer has been literally begging to be on the show, so <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. <laughs> but what do we call you today? Michelle, Miguel, Matilda? Um, what do you feel like calling me? I don't know. Well, I think for the sake of the audience, let's call you Miguel, just not to confuse things. Okay, Miguel, Miguel is fine. It's my birth name. Yes. Lovely. So, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling really precious. I did my nails today, so I'm I'm ready to kill it and snatch cow's plant wig. Snatch what wig? Okay, yes, wonderful. Uh, I'm I'm Portuguese, okay? Oh yes, that's one more thing about him. Portuguese, everyone. Okay, so do you know how this game works? Mm, I know that I have to re to answer your questions, and if not, I get a strike. And then if I answer wrongly to a lot of questions, I get eaten by a cow plant, which sounds nice. I don't know which part of being eaten by a cow plant sounds nice, but yes, that pretty much is the rules. So, since you're clear on the rules, shall we begin? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's play Don't Feed the Cow Plant. Okay, so please take your seat. Oh, this is so comfy. Yes, very comfy. Everyone gets the 5-star experience because they might just die at this point. <laughs> right, so round 1, 5 questions, 2 possible answers, 10 seconds to answer each one, and every incorrect answer gets you a strike. We asked for a topic to be quizzed on for your game, and this is what we've come up with. Incorrect spelling of English words. <laughs> oh, oh, what a laugh. Oh, it's still going, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. I'm so sorry. Yes, lovely. That's not actually the topic, it's Asian pop culture. Yay! It's so good, isn't it? Yes, what, what he said. Okay, shall we begin? Uh-huh. My booty is ready. Don't worry, it's ready. Okay, well, let's begin with said booty. Okay, here comes your first question. Which Japanese manga series is older, D. Grey Man or Shaman King? Oh, Shaman King. Final answer? I'm gonna snatch this. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, well let's see if it's correct. Well done, it is indeed Yay! Shaman King. Lovely start to your game. Okay, question two is a different sort of question. Get your oh. eyes ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited now. It's not that exciting, frankly, but here we go. Take a look at the screen. This picture is the skyline of which South Korean city? Busan or Incheon? Oh, it's Busan. Of course it's Busan. Yay! Okay, well, you've chosen Busan. And it's correct. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> A lovely start so far to your game. Let's move on to question 3. So the question, the Nintendo Entertainment System or NES was named Famigo in Japan. Is that true or false? <laughs> I have no idea! Uh, uh, it's false, it's false. False, false, false. Okay, we're gonna go with false. <laughs> Wow, okay, I, I don't know about this good start anymore. Let's see what the correct answer is. Well then, it's false! So, we're still doing very, very lovely in this game. Shooting along now, here is question 4. Kumamon is a mascot created by the government of which Japanese prefecture? Kumamoto or Fukushima? Well, Kumamon first of all looks like a Digimon's name and it goes really well with okay, you're gonna Kumamoto, run out of time. so it's Kumamoto! 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 Okay, 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 yes, lovely. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, you know I have to do a lot, a lot of hard thinking because, you know, there's a lot of information in my head. It's like a library. Okay, that's an interesting way to put it. Well, let's see if that's the correct answer. 
No is correct. Well done. Nailed it. Okay, when you're in the end of round one, here is your final question. And which color is complementary to teal? <laughs> orange or maroon? <laughs> it's orange. I studied cinema. I know the orange blocks the blue. Orange, 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 orange. Uh, okay, orange. well, firstly, <laughs> what is cinema? I studied cinema and multimedia, and I know when, mean, like... I, I, I think you mean cinema? <laughs> yes, it's cinema. I'm sorry, cinema. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, let's see if your studies was correct. Oh no, I was your first wrong answer and it was based on your schooling. Well done. It's actually maroon that is complimentary to teal. I'm shooketh. We're all shooketh at this point. Your first strike and with that, it's the end of round one. Okay, so we end round one with one strike to your name. Literally only at the end there. Before we move on to round two, let's find out a little bit about you. So, tell us a bit about Oh My Dears as a name. How did it come about? Well, first of all, deer is my spirit animal because they are majestic. They are like a kind of serene figure, you know? Lovely. And then I wanted to uh, give a pun to my channel name and to my Twitch name. So that's why Oh My Dear, like Oh My Dear with a A instead of two E's. Uh -huh. Also, Dear in um, Portuguese Brazilian means gay person. So oh. I think it was, uh, it suited me well. Yeah, I think it suits me. Yes, clearly. I mean, it, it was meant to happen at this point. <laughs> okay. So you clearly love deers. Uh, I do, I do. I'm a jumping deer. A jumping deer, lovely. Well. I thought we would test your love of deers with a new game we've conceptualized here on the show. It has nothing to do with the rest of the game, we're just gonna do it for a bit of fun. So, are we ready to play Deer or No Deer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, so original. Uh, <laughs> so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna show you three pictures. You're gonna have to tell me if you think it's a deer or it's not a deer. Oh, the animal, right? Like, yes, okay, deer, okay. the animal, yes. Okay, let's begin with the first picture. So, deer or no deer? Is... No, it's no deer. No deer, sorry. No, that's quick. No deer? No deer. It's a lion or a... Uh, how do you call it? It's or a, a boar? A bowler? I don't know Bowl? how to pronounce it. Right, okay. <laughs> let's see if it's a deer or no deer. Oh, it's a deer! <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, no. That's not the same picture. It is the same picture. Oh, okay, I got I got it. You cropped, you cropped. Yeah, yes, this is how the game works. You cropped the eyebrow. Okay, that's fine. This counted as a strike. I mean, do you want it to be a strike? We can't, we can't okay, it, it's it, No, 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 it's, it, no, 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 we are fine. We're fine, we're fine. We're no, fine. okay, we're well, <laughs> okay, uh, just a bit of fun here. Okay, let's move on to the second picture. Oh my indeed, is this a deer or no deer? Oh, um, this looks like a trunk, like a, 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 it's not a deer, no, absolutely not. I know my own species, I know my own kind. Okay, well, we shall see. So you're going with no deer. Let's zoom out. <laughs> no, it's a koala. koala. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here's the final picture. Let's see if it's a deer or no deer, according to Mr. Deer. Absolutely looks like like my hunt. Um, I don't know. I can recognize her eyes. Your hunt. My hunt. Like the sister of my mother. My hunt. 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 Oh my god. Ash. We should have gone with incorrect pronunciation of English words as a topic. I think this is a sphinx cat, so it's a no deer. No deer, okay. Let's see if it is a deer or no deer. <coughs> no, it's a deer. Like I said, this is my aunt. I don't see my aunt like for three years from now and I think she's a little bit different. When I met her, she was a sphinx cat. I don't know what happened so far. Wow, okay. I, I question your entire like uh, family tree right now, but okay, that was just a bit of fun. Let's head back to the real game right now as we begin round two.
Okay, round two, there are five more questions, four possible answers for each question. And this time, if you get the answer correct, it will remove a strike from your name. Not that you have many strikes to begin with. Let's do this! Okay, getting right into it, let's begin. Okay, here is question one, or six. Which has not stood for the S in K-pop band name BTS? Son Yeondan, uh, Scouts, Seoul, or Scene? I don't really know about BTS because I don't really like them, but oh. I will say Scene. Final answer? Scene. Scene, Scene. Okay, well, I'm just uh, having all the people that like BTS just yes. ramming into you know, right now. Uh, the answer was actually Seoul. So, you've what? got your second strike. But, okay, but, yeah, let's, let's, going on. <laughs> oh, okay, well, let's move on then. <laughs> Here's question seven. Which song oh. was... Oh, yes! Oh, okay, someone's excited. Was number one in the Gaon? Gaon. Digital chart the longest in 2018. Power Up by Red Velvet, Flower Road by Big Bang, Fake Love by BTS, or Love Scenario by Icon. Oh, 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 this is already counting! Yes. Okay, so BDS is a really famous um, boy band, so I'm going to say Fake Love by BDS. Right. Everyone loves them. Again, that coming from someone that just said he is not the biggest fan of BTS. Yeah. Well, let's see if that's the correct answer. Uh. No, it's not. It's Love Scenario, uh, which apparently was on the chart for six weeks. Oh my god. So... With that, you're on your third strike. This second round not going the best for you right now. <laughs> so let's try and save you with the third question of the round. Okay, music by the band Caro Caro Bonito is influenced by J-pop. But where is the band originally from? Tokyo, London, Busan or Madrid? Oh, it's from London because she has that really posh accent when she speaks in English. So she's, they are from London, for sure. <laughs> Okay, you seem to know them quite well. <laughs> uh, it's that one. How many shrimps? No, it's not. It's Flamingo by Quero Quero Bonito. Oh, <laughs> okay, lovely. Well, let's see if London is the correct answer. Yeah. It's correct, which means we're back down to two strikes with two questions to go. And here is your next question. Okay, so which Asian city or country will not host the Mnet Asia Music Awards, or MAMA, in 2018? Hong Kong, South Korea, Macau, or Saitama? Uh, it's Macau. It's Macau. For sure, it's Macau. Okay. Yes, Macau. Macau. Yokao? Okay. Final answer is... Macau. Yes. Okay, let's see if that is the correct answer. It's yeah. correct! We're back down to one strike with one question to go. So, let's just try and get this one correct. So, oh my god! What was Oh My Dears's, Dears's second new crest build on his YouTube channel? Was it a wedding venue, a mansion, a Japanese dojo, or a library? Uh, it, 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 it was a library. That does not look like a library, but it was a library. Library! Library! Okay, library. okay, okay. We're, we're going with library. <laughs> you seem to know your builds very well. I thought yeah. the second might have tripped you up, uh, but let's see. No, no, my first was a wedding venue. Oh, nice. Okay, well, let, let's just reveal the answer at this point. <laughs> oh my yes, god! Yes, well done, it's yes. correct. And with that, you're down to zero strikes. And that's the end of your game. Well, please come and join me. Okay, so we end your game with zero strikes. You're not dead. You're not even going to have to open any of these boxes. But I mean, since we have the boxes and the Grim Reapers just sitting in the green room, shall we just try and open some boxes? Mm -hmm. Well, here they are. Um, <laughs> had you had to open one box, which would you have gone for? Well, so... There are five boxes, which means there are two from the left and two from the side and one from the middle. Let's go for the middle one. Okay, very creative. That is box number three. Let's see if there's anything inside. <laughs> ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. There was... If you even had one question wrong, that would have been you in trouble. Let's try again. Second box, which would you have gone for? Uh, I'm feeling the number two. No, no, the number one. Number one. One, okay. Let's see what was inside box number one. 
Oh, and box number one was empty. Well done, although it doesn't really matter. So, third box, please choose. This is difficult. Maybe number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Okay, we already have the two car plants. So, clearly, if you didn't do as well in the questions, this would not have been a fun time. Luckily for you, this was all just for fun. We are not going to say goodbye to you, Fudef. So, he's made it out alive. Thank you very much to all my dears for coming down and playing this game. And to you as well for watching this episode of Don't Feed the Car Plant. Once again, for all owners of car plants, make sure you feed them so that they don't try and kill you. Thanks for watching again and goodbye.